And uh, church, we're getting ready to do a dedication. And I wanna remind you that God created the child to shape the future. And God chose the maple home to shape these children. And God put them in this church to walk alongside them. And they're here in this moment. Aren't they precious? <laughs> uh, they are here saying, we want to transfer the faith to the next generation. And we are going to do our very best in our home to raise these children to love the Lord. And I know this family, and they are. They are pouring in kindness and compassion And so today we're going to dedicate two of the four, all right? We've got big sisters, Vera and Vanessa, who are here as we dedicate Savannah, he looks so pretty, and little Evan. As somebody who has raised three children in the church and a fourth is coming up, I want to tell you, you do a great job. The challenge to you is that by being friendly as people, by being a church that engages young people, that's willing to talk to teenagers, oh, just say, hi, how's your breakfast? I think sometimes we don't realize that in that way, we are modeling who Jesus is. As they grow and they look back on what is the church and what the world's saying this, but I experience love in my church. Then they're able to see how God was reflected through um, through his people and through his word. And so that's what we're asking of you. All right, they're here, they're doing it in their home, but they want to widen the circle and they know there will come a point that their little people will have to choose on their own to own their faith. And they're saying, we don't want to do it by ourselves. We want a church that walks alongside us and pours into these young people. And so my friend Brittany is going to come and she is going to pray over this special, special family. Join with me, please. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm so grateful for Daryl and Rachel that they are standing here, Lord, saying that they want to partner with you and the church to point their kiddos to you. These kids don't know how lucky they are that, that the parents are taking this firm step, Lord. And I just pray that you will give them guidance and direction and that you will be with Evan and Savannah and bless all of their days, Lord, and that one day that they will choose you for their own. Give us as the church the wisdom to know how to walk alongside them and how to help them and, and point them towards you, Lord. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let them hear from you as they exit.